I'm Mike Stone. I'm an emergency physician and a point of care ultrasound specialist. And I'm going to show you how to perform an extended fast exam with the IQ. In trauma patients, we're concerned about hemorrhage. And we're concerned about hemorrhage in the abdominal cavity, into the thoracic cavity, into the pericardial sac surrounding the heart, or lung collapse or pneumothorax. Traditionally, assessing the abdominal cavity, the pericardial space, and the lung involves switching between three different transducers. And I'm going to show you how with the IQ, you're able to evaluate all of those spaces with a single transducer very rapidly. So we'll start off with an abdominal preset, and we'll look in Morrison's pouch. We identify the liver, the kidney. We look in Morrison's for any free fluid. We slide up and look above the diaphragm for any fluid in the thoracic cavity. We then move on to the left upper quadrant. We identify the spleen. We look for fluid in the perisplenic area out by the splenic tip, down in the splenorenal recess, and above the diaphragm for any thoracic fluid that could indicate a hemothorax on the left. Then we'll move on to the pelvis and take a look at the bladder, fanning left and right to look for any fluid in the pelvis behind the bladder or deep to the bladder. We'll then switch to a cardiac preset and take a look from a subcostal window and look for any fluid around the heart and finding no pericardial fluid, we'll move on and take a look at the lungs by switching to a lung preset and applying the IQ with the indicator towards his head in the right parasternal space, identifying the pleural line and lung sliding, looking at several inner spaces, moving on to the left, identifying lung sliding on the left, and that's the extended fast exam using the IQ.